classes. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It is April the 19th. Jimmy and I are here today for you. And we have 7.71 months of inventory. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 2,749 uh, condos, single family homes and townhomes of which almost 2,100 are single family homes. So we've come up in the world a couple hundred. That's good. That's, yes. that's a plus. It's a plus and people are listing. We had 136 listings this weekend, put 130 under contract. And a, a, an, an interesting stat here. Um, we are selling 68% more um, expensive homes over a million dollars than last year, all of last year. I mean, it's just amazing that that's, uh, it's, it's, it, it dipped down a little bit this past month, but uh, the beginning of the first quarter, it was uh, raging. So we'll see it as it goes, how, uh, if it keeps on going. Well, but, and uh, last year, the first quarter, there was no COVID lockdown until March 17th. So the number of sales we had, if we're above that, that was above the numbers without COVID. Right. Yeah. And uh, we know how things have gone, you know, the rest of last year and this year. I mean, just uh, amazing. So I don't know. It's a, That's a mixed bag. Do you think they're going to increase less? Because last year we had a, a 150 sales a day. I don't know. I, I just, I see us running. I think that the actual number of sales were up about 2% last year, but because we had that big dip and that's why it was only up 2%. So I'm expecting this year to be up about 12 to 15%. Wow. Well, that's exciting. I know um, I actually had to cancel our social media class because the participants are busy with their weekend business. And I said, that's okay. We'll just reschedule. Yeah. You know, yeah. business comes first. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, Jimmy, uh, so you were teaching all last week. My goodness, I don't know how you do it. And we have a, a, a new buyer brokers class that we're going to teach next week, right? I, you know, I'm really excited about it because we've never taught this before that I can remember. I've never taught buyer brokerage agreement. And right now, it, the buyers are so frustrated that it's easy to lose them to someone. And the other thing about buyers, when we go into new home, it's just a question of time before the new homes start paying us less and less and less. And if you oh, want to yeah. get paid what you're worth, you're going to have to put a buyer's broker agreement in place and tell the buyer, if you buy a new home, you have to ask for closing costs and, and they can be coached and they can be trained and the builder will pay us. They'll pay the closing costs for the buyer. They might not want to pay us, but they'll pay closing costs if it's a good buyer. Yeah. Right. got to right. figure that out. We do. This Thursday, we have a law class from 10 to 1. And then on Friday, you're teaching uh, ethics with uh, on Friday from 10 to 1 as well. So we have Thursday, Friday, back to back. If you need classes, we have law and then we have ethics. And then next week, we're going to do the contracts class, which is the buyer broker. So that's going to be exciting. Well, to roll when, that one out. when do we roll out to be the CEO of your business? When are we rolling that out? Because I, people need 36 hours now. They need general. It's a yeah. general class. And I don't think there's a whole lot more you can do for your business than really sit down. The, the, the middle of the year is coming up. Your first quarter is over with. Anything you're going to do for the rest of the year, if you don't get it in, in motion, and that class is all about, you, you have different things in that class, but part of it's a system set up so that you can actually succeed at a high level. That class is a very fundamental foundational class. It's, it's almost like Buffini. Buffini, yeah. But it's all three hours, boom, 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 boom. And it's three hours of CE. When do yeah. we roll that out? We can, we can, I think I, well, I, I didn't roll it out because we just got the, okay, so I can change May. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I can change May and we'll roll it out in May. That would be awesome. If you yeah. don't have any, any people sign up for a particular class, let's put that in there. Cause that's yes. a really strong class. And, and you and I both have a great part of that each because we wrote it together. So they're going to get two different takes on how to be the CEO of your business. Yours is more systems oriented and mine is more, um, metaphysical metacognition <laughs> yeah which is cool which is very cool and <clears throat> um good morning leslie thank you for signing in love to know who's watching <laughs> so today we have a very interesting uh subject and it's um the quality of uh listing videos jimmy so i'm sure this is something that uh you'll be interested in let me go back here to my where it is Ta -da -da. 
Oh, of course they don't. Let's see. Let me just. Uh, and you're right. I'm very interested in this topic because if you have a great listing video, that's a great way to audition for a listing. If your client is impressed with your video, you're going to get the listing. Right. So I'm going to, I'm going to solo the video and put us in the, in the lobby. Okay. All right. So where are you, Mr. Video? Can you see my slides here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's a little, it's a little weird. Yeah. We okay. No, I heard that yesterday with Barry. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so first off, everything in our world has changed. Now, I'm going to start my presentation here or, or this discussion with a bit of a story. And it, it kind of blows my own mind. Hopefully, it blows yours as well. Um, but if you go back just three years ago, I was in construction. I was hanging drywall. I was laying tile. I was coming home at night and showering up to go to the odd well. showing because I was very, very part time. Fast forward to just three days ago, and I just double-ended my newest listing, a $3.5 million mansion. Now, I got that listing over YouTube. Got a call three weeks ago from the uh, homeowner saying, Brad, my home's been on and off the market for two years. No agents have been able to actually tell its story. I just have been watching your YouTube channel. Man, I need you to come list my property. Three and a half million dollar listing from YouTube. Fast forward to last week, we release a 15 second TikTok of that tour of that house. That TikTok goes viral, 125,000 views on that TikTok. I get a call, Brad, my name's Bernard. My son just showed me a TikTok. I'd like to see this property. I said, well, it doesn't come to the market till Saturday. And he says, I'd like to see it today. He comes out, sees the property, we're now under contract, and I have his new $4.6 million listing also to sell. So if you think about that, got the listing over YouTube, sold the listing over TikTok, and earned the first six-figure commission of my career. Wow. That's how this world has changed. And that's why I'm here to talk to you about how you find your next client can change your world. Wow. So. I think it's a pretty cool thing. I, I obsess over my brand. Now, I know there are, are a million different ways that we can share video, that we can talk to our clients, and absolutely each and every one of the things that the presenters have talked about so far, I do them all. I do my bomb bomb videos. I reach out to people through bomb bomb and loom. I send short form videos that are unedited, that are just raw. I pop onto my Instagram stories. I share all that kind of content too, because that is so important with connecting. Um, if the only thing I produced was the high quality content and got it out to my market, I might seem a lot less accessible. But because I share those other pieces, it's really uh, it's a great way for me to connect. However. I do think there's something that high quality video will do for your brand and for your business, especially your listing business, um, that the other style of videos can't quite capture. So we're going to talk a little bit more about why quality matters in this business. Now, this is one of my favorite quotes of all time. Uh, it's from Elon Musk. Uh, he says, spend less time on finance, spend less time in conference rooms, less time on PowerPoint, and more time just trying to make your product as amazing as possible. So think about that. If you've ever heard this story from about a year, year and a half ago, Elon Musk was reported to be sleeping on the floor of the Tesla factory. Why? Why? It's because he had an obsession over his product. His batteries already outperformed all the other manufacturers by like almost a factor of two. So why would he be sleeping on the floor, spending 120 hours a week trying to determine how he could possibly extend the range of his batteries, even just 10%, because he was obsessed over the quality of what he put out. And so that's the argument that we're going to make today, is this idea that not only can we probably do a lot more, can we learn these skills, but we're also going to talk about whether or not you should be hiring someone else to do it, and at what point you should possibly bring someone in as a videographer, maybe even onto your team. 
So really sort of the theme of the discussion today, because we want to keep it sort of tactical as well, of course, is we're just going to talk about three ways to raise the bar. Uh, so first off, that's going to be how to shoot quality video. So we're going to talk some tools, some tips, some techniques, that side of things. We're going to talk about the rules of editing high quality video. You know, should you learn how to do it? Should you hire it out? Where can you start? And then how to leverage those videos. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, Tyler, if people aren't watching these videos, it doesn't matter how good they are. Right. So you've got to shout them from the mountaintop. I, I, I heard a quote, and I think yeah. people would enjoy this one. Um, content is king, but distribution is queen. Absolutely. You were the Absolutely. <laughs> you know okay. what? I it often think work. about it, right? When we, when we think of like the world's best like guitarists, right? You'll say like Jimi Hendrix, or you'll say, um, uh, what's the other guy? There's like two or three guys out there that kind of just come to name to, to mind each and every time, right? We only know them because they got distribution. We only know them because they got distribution. The reality is, I've got a friend that I grew up with in Saskatoon. He's every bit as good. He slays on guitar. He spent the last 20 years of his life playing that guitar. Never got married, just spends his time in the basement playing guitar. It is unbelievable what he can do. His distribution is zero. It's zero. He might be the world's best guitarist, but no one knows it. Mm. And, and that's that's really the, the challenge with, with all of this. And that's why um, understanding how to distribute your content is cannot be um, cannot be misstated right. or underestimated. Well, aware enough to outsource it, like you said, right? So yeah, it's a matter of getting it out there, distributing. Absolutely. And so we're going to talk a little bit about why listing videos, because there are so many different forms of video that we can use in our business. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit about listing videos in particular and why they have value, and especially why they have value now. I think it's actually really important. Uh, a good friend of mine, Ray Ellen, posted in a Facebook group the other day, explain to me why your fancy listing video is important now when homes are selling within just a few hours on the market to multiple offers, even if there was no marketing done. Explain to me the value of those. Now, for me, I love Ray, and I don't think he was necessarily saying that they didn't have value. But I think as what I've noticed in the industry, is that we downplay the value of this form of marketing a little bit. marketing is asking is what's in it for me not just like hey I love Tyler I love what they do they're asking like hey what can I get from partnering up with Dibity this is what our clients are asking when they're looking at who's going to represent them on the sale of their home now if they're not asking that then as agents we failed if they're not asking that as agents we failed it means that we haven't shown our unique value mm -hmm. over someone in their social network because everyone already knows an agent everyone's sister or uncle or cousin or friend or someone sold something on their block and so now they give them a call we're up against all those relationships but it's an easy win if people know what's in it for them if they work with you with me with the McCallum group with what we do people understand that they're going to get the highest quality listing videos in the industry and that, that those listing videos are going to help them get exposure for their home that they could not get any elsewhere. But it does a lot more than just helping sell the home. It attracts so many more listings. It attracts listings because clients want to remember their home. It attracts mm -hmm. listings because clients begin to understand your personal brand. They understand who I am, who my wife is, who my kids are. And because of all those different things, because of all those different things, they actually know that if they say no to Brad McCallum and go with another agent, they're saying no to Brad, they're saying no to Tila, they're saying no to Lachlan, they're saying no to Avalon. 
they're saying well, no to my whole family. And they knew that they can do that. They can't do that because they're just too invested. They've, they've watched us. They've built those relationships with us by watching our YouTube videos over time. When they see the quality of what we're producing, they understand that it adds value to their home. It helps adding exposure to their home. So I want to share with you, Tyler, is it possible to share um, some videos on here too? Absolutely. Okay, so I think I did a little StreamYard tutorial. This is terrible, right? I, I can create <laughs> awesome videos, and I'm horrible at uh, graphics, as you can see. That's just a Canva template. And I, uh, but I've got a couple of things on here um, that we'll talk. I'll show you a little bit about what I mean by incorporating quality or incorporating family. Now, we don't have to watch all the videos. And sometimes, Tyler, do you think it's a good idea to share a video, or, or does that feed some? Um, no. You you should be good, but I can't see your screen if you are sharing it right now. No, I'm not. No, I'm about okay. to. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, just thought I, I popped back. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go you to can home. share a video file. When you click on share down here, you see where it's oh, your screen. I think I got it here. Check this out. Tell me, are we good? Yep. Yep, you're good. Okay. So this is a coming soon promo I put on Instagram. Now, this is a condo that's up on the 26th floor of a building in, the, um, in downtown Calgary. It had awesome views, and I thought, you know, I just want to get some hype around this listing coming to market. Now, I'm going to show you what we did in just 30 seconds. It's just me walking through the unit. It's a bit of a reveal. We threw the drone outside. This is a one-shot, virtually no editing to it. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to add it. I'm gonna add yeah. it. You tell me when. Go ahead. All right. One more time, Brad, because I lag in the beginning. Okay, one more time. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Those are definitely epic views. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I think I stopped screen sharing. Good. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you look at something like that. There. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look at something like that, that is a four hundred dollar drone, four hundred fifty dollar drone, a DJI Mavic Mini two. And on top of that, uh, it's an idea. It's an idea. We just threw the drone outside the window. We thought, hey, let's walk through this really cool apartment. We'll pop out on the deck at the end, curve it around, show the downtown. Um, and what's funny about, about that is that it got so much engagement. And it got engagement just because it was noteworthy. It's just not what something had, people had seen before. Mm -hmm. And every time we can do that, like imagine yourself standing in the middle of Times Square and you've got all the advertisements around you. And then you're saying, okay, yeah, find the Hitachi sign or, or find the Sony or find this. And you're absolutely inundated by all the noise of the advertising world. That's what our Instagram feeds are like. That's what our Facebook feeds are like. That's what YouTube pre-roll ads are like. All, there's so much noise. And the problem that I have, the only problem I have a simple video um, of just IG stories, just documenting our life, it's, it's not that that doesn't work because it definitely does. My worry my worry is that if the only defensible media strategy that you have is other agents in your market not having the courage to press record, then 
I don't think that's enough. It won't be enough going forward into the future. You need to form and find an audience now. One of the best ways to do so is excite them, entertain them, and educate them. And if you can do those things, if you can do those things in a way that is surprising, where they feel like, wow, this is extra, that imagine that. It's imagine all the lights in Times Square going off, and then just the one, your video shining, or just your sign, or the Metallum group just shining up there. All the eyes are going to go to it, and that is the goal with my marketing. My my goal with the quality is to shut out the noise, to break through it, and to get my message through on my client's properties. So I'm going to pop back a little bit here, just really quickly to um, uh, my uh, let's see application window to here and share. All right. So. We talk a little bit about um, why quality attracts there. I mentioned a little bit how it excites the seller. The sellers get excited for a couple of, uh, a couple of reasons. First off, they're excited to see what you're going to do with their house. They're excited to see uh, the story that you're going to tell. Um, it excites the buyers, obviously. It helps uh, them develop an emotional attachment to that property. It helps them um, understand the story of that home. And it helps them understand why their attention should be paid to this property versus all the other homes that are on the market. But the key actually here is that it excites builders. Now, the ultimate real estate business is the one where people call you and ask you to list their home. But I would take that a little bit further. The ultimate real estate business is where builders or people who do multiple transactions in a year are calling you because they see your videos as being something of value that you can add to their business. We at the McCallum Group, our business, we're being used. <laughs> we're used by our builders, by the brands, uh, by the architects and the developers that we work with. They look at us as an opportunity to create more content for them, to create next level quality video for them, stuff that will get the market excited about them. And as we get those kind of calls and those kind of listings, our own audience grows. And as our own audience grows, like our YouTube channel is now at almost 9,000 subscribers, as our own audience grows, we have something now of value that sellers, buyers, people want to tap into because we're growing a secondary audience outside of just the MLS, which is a pretty powerful thing. Now, Tyler, should we talk a little bit about how to shoot quality video? I would love that, man, because I think that's taking it a step further. You know, we're getting very tactical, so I absolutely love that. Let's do it. So. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to shoot, like the basic gear that you're going to need to get started, where to learn the best techniques, Facebook groups, podcasts, and YouTube channels. So really simply, um, if we go to this, this uh, slide here, we got the gear. Now, first thing I think that intimidates everyone about getting started shooting high quality video uh, it is just the gear. Um, they pick up a camera, they look at the lens, they look at a gimbal, they don't know how to balance it, all that stuff, and they get pretty frustrated right off the bat. Now, there is a great creator. I recommend all of you go check him out. His name is Justin Godsey. That's G-O-D-S-E-Y, Justin Godsey. Justin creates everything, everything on his iPhone 4. Or his iPhone 10, not 4. I was like, iPhone 4. Yeah, iPhone 4. That's how good he is. Now, <laughs> he creates everything on his iPhone and a gimbal. And the quality of his listing videos, his tours are amazing. So if you want to get started upping your quality, but you don't want to commit to a big camera lens and all the rest, if you already have a smartphone that shoots 4K video, and if that video can be slowed down to 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second, then shoot in those settings. Buy yourself a $150 DJI gimbal. Buy yourself a monopod. A monopod is like, it's like a tripod with just one leg. Um, but essentially the reason you want a monopod is that it'll actually lengthen out um, you holding that little tiny gimbal, that iPhone gimbal, and it'll make it easier to balance. It becomes like a counterweight for you. So you can get that ultra smooth movement as you go through a home. And the next thing you're going to need is good audio. So I recommend the Rode Wireless Go. Um, it is maybe 
$200, $220. It's wireless audio. It's a wireless lab. It's very discreet. It's easy to carry with you. Um, literally, what we're talking about here, the monopod, throw in the trunk of your car, everything else fits in a little package like this. You can carry this with you wherever. Um, and if you want to shoot a whole listing tour on it, like I said, go check out Justin Godsey. Creates some of the most exciting content I've seen around. It's super energetic and it's all shot on a smartphone, which is really cool. Um, the next is you could step it up to the gear that we use. Now, I use a mirrorless camera. I use a Sony A7 S3. Um, really, it doesn't matter so much the brand of camera that you use. The only thing that really matters is that it shoots 120 frames per second in HD quality. Now, if any of you guys have seen any of my videos in the past, you would know that we do a lot of slow motion, a lot of dramatic stuff, a lot of kind of um, impactful, kind of cool, sexy shots. And all of that comes from shooting in slow motion. It's, it's like a hack. Shoot in slow motion if you're not getting a person talking. If someone's in front of the camera and they're talking, shoot in 24 frames per second. Otherwise, shoot in slow motion and you're going to get sexy, smooth, footage even if you're not used to holding a gimbal very easily. Then I'd buy a Ronin SC gimbal. So a Ronin is a gimbal that will hold your, it's also by DJI, it's just made for mirrorless cameras. Um, it's It'll make your home sellers super happy. It'll excite home buyers. Actually, almost every other listing tour that's out there of the puzzle is to tell a story in the video. Now, I notice a lot of videos, a lot of great listing tours are presenters. They're just presenting the home. They're not actually telling the story about the property. And the thing we often forget is that real estate's aspirational. We need to tell stories about the properties that we're in. Um, when you look at this, like speed ramps, drone shots, edit to the beat, there's a whole bunch of different qualities that uh, you can put into your video. Speed ramps is, is where a video starts in slow motion, then speeds up and slows back down again, or starts fast, slows down for a bit, to tell the viewer to focus here and then speeds into the next shot. And it's essentially just like speeding up a record player, right? Playing it double time, like think of the chipmunks, right? And, or then slowing it back down to normal speed and then speeding it back up. It actually allows uh, the viewer to like feel like they're moving through the home in addition to just the camera movements. And then a big thing, a big tip guys, it says great music, uh, music bed. Now music bed, People always ask where we get our music from. I always tell them Epidemic Sound, but because this is Tyler here, I'll tell the truth. <laughs> we get it from Musicbed. Uh, go to Musicbed. It's like 12 bucks a month, um, and they have got some of the best music out there. It's exciting. It's the kind of stuff I'd listen to happily on the radio any day of the week, so check it out. Musicbed? Musicbed. It's fantastic. Love it. How, how, how great is this, guys? Brad, you are man. This is some insane value right here. So listen, I'm going to talk a little bit about sharing these videos, uh, Tyler, because we talk about distribution is queen. Listen, I watched Ryan Serhant say this in one of his vlogs like a year and a half ago when he first, or two years ago when he first started vlogging. He said, look, you have to shout it from the mountaintops. you got to tell the world what it is you do what you're doing, why they should pay attention to you, why they should get excited to you, and you need to shout it from the mountaintops because literally no one else will. And you got to do it at first yourself. You got to do it at first yourself and eventually you do it long enough, you do it well, you invest in deepening that uh, quality of your content and you're going to find that other people will start to shout it for you. Now, I use LinkedIn. I'll share oftentimes the same listing tour to LinkedIn, but I just think of the audience. The audience on LinkedIn are, is more entrepreneurial. 
they're more talking about it from the business ownership standpoint or mentorship standpoint. So I might share the video, but I'll share my thoughts or my story in the context or the dialogue of that post. On Facebook, I'll share the video, but I'm not getting a lot of reach on there, not a lot of organic reach. Facebook is more pay to play these days. Um, but oftentimes I share my videos to Facebook groups because I take so much value from those groups, I feel like I want to add a little bit back in. I take all of my listing tours and I turn them into IGTVs. Those IGTVs are made vertically. I just make the horizontal video vertical and I put them on there as well because why not? I, some of the people were saying yesterday, people watch, you know, they'll dive deep into your profile. They'll start watching some of your videos. It's awesome. And then of course YouTube. YouTube has been a game changer for us. Um, at almost 9,000 subscribers, every minute of this presentation, about 12 minutes of my content have been watched on YouTube, whether I'm sleeping, whether I'm at work, whether I'm with my family, whether I'm with another client. That's the power of YouTube. A year ago, my goal was by, the, by this time this year to have 24 hours of watch time in a 24-hour day. But now we're getting closer to 300 to 400 hours of watch time every day, which wow. is just nuts. Um, if this kind of pops up here, there we go. Um, this is the problem that everyone says when they hear, this is the pushback that I get from so many people when they say, yeah, but like, I understand listing videos are good for you, Brad, and I, it's different in your market and I can't, I couldn't do uh, what you guys do because I don't know how the fancy editing, all that stuff. The bottom line is guys, forget ROI. If you're asking how much a videographer, uh, costs. Um, how much it costs us to put out one of these videos. Uh, you're asking all the wrong questions. Last year we did about 50 home sales. I did about 50 home sales. Um, this year, in the first four months of the year, I've done a half million dollars in commission. In the first four months. That is changing our family's life. Like it changes our, our, our life. And all of it has come because I do not care about ROI. I don't care about it because the more I try to track or calculate the investment in each video, it always comes up short. We'll spend 30 hours editing a video. I'll spend a thousand hour or a thousand dollars with my videographer on one listing tour. Plus, plus I'll spend 10 to 12 hours of it of my own time putting it out. And every one of you listening will probably hear that and think, or many of you might listen and think that's insane. I don't have time for that. But we still find that this kind of organic brand, it's got, it's got legs. <laughs> it grows, and it grows way faster. We're getting way more listings than we can ever even follow up with or take on. You need to forget ROI, forget about it. So if you're an agent that is doing zero to 20 deals in a year, you need to learn how to do this stuff yourself. Reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help out however I possibly can. Um, I'll point you in the right direction or, you know, follow me on Instagram. We'll get you on, onto my new YouTube channel where we're going to take it, take you through step by step. But if you're doing zero to 20 deals in a year, you need to learn how to do this stuff yourself. You need to get people to start calling you and saying, hey man, I need you to list my house and not call anyone else. If you're doing 20 to 40 deals in a year, you should probably, probably be hiring a videographer, maybe two to six to eight hundred dollars per listing video. But always, always, always favorite price. Believe me, if you can get a great video for five hundred dollars, but an amazing one for eight hundred dollars, it's worth that three hundred dollar investment each and every time. Go for amazing. Go for amazing each and every time in your market. If you're over 40, if you're doing over 40 deals in a year, hire a full-time videographer onto your staff. Having someone like that who can all of a sudden start not just capturing your listing videos, they can capture community videos and business spotlights. They can capture your team. They can capture your culture. They can vlog. You really start to, we, we really as agents have to start believing what Gary V said seven years ago. We are a media company. And so if we're a media company, is anyone watching? That's the question. So. Uh, Tyler, I'm, I know we're probably getting close here on time. Yeah, yeah, we have a couple minutes. I, I have one or two questions for you. Cool. I'm just I'm gonna say one thing about this because I'll say this, and then let's just hop into a few questions. Um, this creating content is like climbing a mountain. So guys, I, I 
I live near the Canadian Rockies. I live in Calgary, Alberta, about 60 minutes from the Rockies. And we love to go mountain climbing. And every time we do, right, we're always climbing so we can get that big view at the end. The problem with climbing a mountain, of course, is it's a lot like creating content. You start off, you start off in the trees. And as you switch back and forth up the mountain, you're in the trees. You have no concept of how far you've gone. You know you're making progress. You're getting more tired. You're getting exhausted. You're putting foot in front of foot, and it's harder and harder and harder. But around every corner, there's just more trees. And you keep thinking, like, when am I going to break through? And this is what creating content is like. And this is most people give up when they're still in the trees. But what will happen, what will happen is if you keep going, you will eventually break through what's called the tree line. That's up above where the oxygen is so thin, the trees stop growing, and it's now you're starting to get into the actual just rocks and the Rocky Mountains. You start to get some of those views. And what I find every time when I'm on a hike, I never know where I'm at until I get above that tree line. And so if you've been creating content for a while and you haven't yet got above that tree line, keep going. If it's hard, it's probably working. Because once you get above that tree line, you'll look down and that'll be the first time you get a sense of how far you came. You'll be able to look down on the parking lot and see your car and it'll look like this and you'll realize how far you came. But you have to get through the trees before you can break through to see some of those views. Now. Our business is reaching new mountain mountaintops. We're reaching new heights. And all of it is because we just stayed consistent and we just kept investing into the quality of our video. Love to take some questions, brother. Come on, guys. Give it up for Brad. How good was that? Drop in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, listing videos is so, so important, but it's so hard. And I feel like that's the... That's the ultimate overarching excuse that people find the, the underlying excuses from that. But ultimately, it's just hard and it's challenging. It, it, so um, I love the fact you're you there. Are you there? Very good. Yeah, there's a. There was a background scratch. Did you hear it? Yeah, it was it was a little bit annoying, but you could still get the content. We're definitely worth listening to. That was a good video. Thank you. Yeah, I was. I, there's a uh, lag time. Hang on, let me get. get so the dippity time. deep dive. How many of those videos have you watched on there, Ruthie? Well, <laughs> quite a few. Yesterday uh, was Gary Vaynerchuk. The day before, I mean. Tom Ferry was amazing and um, I'm picking and choosing and I did one on uh, Google business pages that I'm going to share, uh, but I think I'll make my own, um, I might make my own PowerPoint about it because it's yeah. not that complicated, but the steps are a little, you know, uh, you, you can miss stuff, but you know, on this video one, um, he had a hack about doing videos in slow motion, mm -hmm. which I thought was really good. And then um, the music bed, for $12 a month to get, you know, music behind you. And yeah. a lot of times, <clears throat> you know, people listen to the music and if you do text on the screen, I know for, for uh, Instagram reels, that really works. But anyway, there's a whole world out here, uh, a whole new world for agents um, doing videos and listing videos and community videos, which we have on Agent Formula. But, you know, if you don't have Agent Formula, I don't know why, but if you don't have Agent Formula, you know, you can go out and take your own um, community videos, but you really need a drone and you really need a videographer. It's a lot of expense, you know, and uh, we've been doing these videos for 10 years and um, it's expensive and there's uh, editing involved and a lot of uh, skills here. And it's like uh, Brad said, you've got to be a, a media company, but, you know, obviously he's mastered it, but not everybody can do that. Well, it's taken him some time, but not that much time. Not, he was a, a, yeah. he was in the building industry three years ago, I think he said. And his opening story, he got a three and a half million dollar listing and he double ended it. I mean, that's two hundred and some thousand dollars in commissions. <laughs> that's more than most agents make in three years, let alone one year and one deal. And it got him another four million dollar listing because of that. The guy saw his thing. I, I don't know how much more proof you need than that. And that yes. the video that he put out there was it was short. 
but it, the, the idea was novel. Walk, showing the guy walking through his high rise condo and, and for a preview, DM them. And like you said, the text he had to come across the screen, everything he did in there was really, really um, yeah. surprising and, and, and interesting and exciting. Yeah. And they, you know, you, you're probably going to spend a thousand dollars on equipment before the end of the day, you know, because you do need a good camera. Um, you need a, a good DSL camera. Is it DSL, D, DSL, R? Yeah. D, the gimbal thing that he talked about, the gimbal? Uh -huh. I don't know what that is. So what that does is, is you put your camera, there's a little screw at the bottom of your camera and you, you attach the, um, the tripod to it and then you hold it and it doesn't, so that you're not going like this. The well, gimbal is just e a pole. It's yeah, just a pole. It, it even, it, well, it even out, it evens out the movement so okay. that you're not going like this. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Nothing. And a lot of them, of course, have the phone holders and there's all uh, all price ranges and what have you, depending on how sophisticated you want to get. But that's what that is. The reason why I like the DSL camera versus the um, iPhone or your um, your Android is because of depth of field. And you, you know, you need to have something that has depth of field if you're going to do go out there and do uh, home videos of listings. So that's another day. <laughs> well, I show um, a video that I like in one of my classes, and one of the guys commented. He said, "You know what? That's a really great video, but there's no drone shots in it." <laughs> and it was a, it was a fairly high end listing, and he's and he was right. There's not a drone shot in yeah. there. And if you're doing video, and you that guy, he said it was a four hundred fifty dollar drone. Right. That, that high rise, you had to have the drone for that. But even on a single family residence that's on one level, um, I saw a listing in, in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I was teaching there. And one of the listings in there, it was a, I don't know, three and a half million dollar house. And they had a drone of the grounds before they actually went in the house. And it was very impressive. It was very yes, impressive. Yeah. But most of our community videos, we do a drone shot. Yeah. Yeah. We, I mean, you have to do drone. If you're going to, if you're going to get into this uh, video, uh, you've got to get a drone. <clears throat> Very important that you can uh, dr do a, a drone shot over a community, over a golf course, over, you know, the shopping. Um, it just adds another uh, attention getter to your video. Yeah, makes it complete. Without yeah. the drone, you're not complete. Exactly. Well, I'm going to put these videos. Um, uh, I clipped uh, I clipped the, uh, I actually videoed the videos. And so I'm going to put the clips. <laughs> I put the I'm going to put the clips into the group. I already put them on Asian formula so people can go back and watch them. Um, and then I had to cut them into three parts because um, this platform only allows so many megabytes per video. So <laughs> there's a lot of production here. I'm getting a little deep into my. Uh <laughs> so you mean the videos of Tom Ferry and Gary V? Mm -hmm. So those and videos these, are. And these today. Yeah. Okay. You mean, are they in the group? I didn't put Gary Vee in the group, which I will, and I will put Tom Ferry in the group. That was my question. Did, yeah. Is that what we got in there? So not yet. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll do Gary today and maybe Tom later today or early tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah, a lot of good information, a lot of reference. Yes. You know, yeah. If you don't have, yeah, if you don't have time to digest it today or whatever, go back and watch it again. And I mean, I've watched it a couple of times and I learned something new every time. And I was writing down the new things that I just learned, like the slow motion hack. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. And the yeah. music bed. I, I didn't catch that one the first time either. Yeah. A lot so. of, a lot of really good content for sure. Yeah. In, in a very short time. Okay, Jimmy. Well, let's see. We'll, we're going to have law on Thursday, uh, ethics on Friday. and um, It's uh, not too late to get into Brian Buffini. We've only had two weeks of Brian Buffini. We've had some videos. If somebody decides they want to get in, we've got, uh, I think, 12 more weeks of Buffini for 500 bucks. Uh, if you missed the first two weeks, we have all the videos. You can watch the videos and get the content that you missed. But I definitely, it's, there's nothing that you can do more for your business than work on the systems that Ruthie talks about all the time and Buffini lays them all out for you. They're all, it's, it's just the table is set for you. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 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 You sign up uh, at B.Vegas and, and actually it's three ninety five plus uh, 45. So okay. it's four forty. So just less saying. than 500 bucks. Yeah. Less than 500. I, I mean, mean and for all, for a hundred days to greatness. Yeah. You've been under 14 is, weeks. And I, I'm just really impressed. I think that, being in lockdown or shut down or whatever you want to call it when he did the hundred days to greatness this time, 
I think he he's just so focused and and I just I'm enjoying it uh, tremendously. Yeah, mostly it's stories that I've heard before, but there's no wasted motion. There's no, no. just right to the point. Um, everything he talks about is something you can use like today. So yeah, yeah, very very effective stuff. All right, Jimmy, love everybody. We'll see you. We won't see you tomorrow, will we? No, Wednesday though. I think Wednesday. Okay. All right, everybody. Toodaloo. Have